The book of Acts, God pours out his spirit. And in Exodus 19 and 20, God gives the Ten Commandments, the Torah, the word of God on this day. So the word and the spirit were coming on the same day. Why? Because God is wanting to bring about not just creation, but he's wanting to bring about new creation transformation. And when God's word is spoken and we receive the word and the spirit of God moves on us, we're changed. So Shavuot means weeks, and in Greek, Pentecost means 50, because the Torah was given 50 days after Passover, after the coming out of Egypt. And it's significant that the number 50 is chosen, because 50 is the number of the what? The year of Jubilee. So 50 is the number of freedom. 50 is a number of freedom. It's the time when the, all the debts are canceled. How many of you guys need some debts that need to be canceled? Wish that tax collector, wish that uh, creditor would come up and rip up those bills. So in the same way we wish we didn't have material debts, in the same way we have spiritual debts, and, this is, and on the Jubilee, all the debts are forgiven, and every and re, 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 land that had to be leased out because people couldn't afford to keep them or owed debts were given back. Slaves were set free. And so this is, the 50 is the number of freedom, and freedom is one of the key things that connect Passover and Pentecost, and this is an important point to understand, because redemption without the revelation of the word and the spirit will lead to a regression back into slavery. It's not enough to be free. What's the point of being free if we don't have a purpose in life? Passover is about freedom, but Pentecost is about the purpose to become a people that knows God and makes him known. So God gives us a purpose in Acts chapter 19 and 20, and then on Pentecost, he gives us the power to bring the purpose that comes to pass. And it's interesting because the two are really connected because Messiah says, know the truth, and the truth will do what? Set you free. The truth will set you free. I mean, think about the thousands of years that Israel had been enslaved in Egypt. Could you imagine all the negative things they thought about themselves? All the lies that they had believed about themselves? All the ways they had been broken and beaten down in Egypt by a slave people and what that does to your identity and destiny? Now they needed to hear the truth. Because the truth sets free. And Messiah says he's looking for individuals that will worship him in what? Spirit. Spirit and truth. And it's the power of Pentecost. It's encountering God's transformative, creative power in both word and spirit in order to re release the full potential for our lives. But in the end, the truth is embodied in the giving of the Torah and the Spirit, which is poured out in Shavuot for the same purpose. God gives us word and spirit for one primary purpose. The greatest purpose is to bring us into a greater and deeper relationship with him and with one another.